Jeopardy, champion Ben Chan has revealed he almost didn't make it onto the popular game show. Ben, who is a philosophy professor at St. Norbert College, took to Twitter on Sunday and revealed he didn't see his invitation until two months after it was sent out. He tweeted, speaking of sliding door moments, I didn't see the invite to audition for Jeopardy until two months after it was sent and my tryout date had passed. He continued, I hate imposing and wasn't going to ask for another shot until friends encouraged me and I got my shot. Ben also attached a screenshot of the email he had sent. It read, Dear Jeopardy, Contestant Department, I somehow missed this email when it was originally sent. Is there any chance that I'm still eligible for upcoming gameplay auditions? Many thanks, Ben Chen. Jeopardy. Fans were quick to reply to Ben's tweet as one person wrote, I am glad your friends encouraged you. Another person said, I could see myself doing that accidentally and my friends encouraging me the same way. Your friends seem like amazing people. I'm sorry you missed your first audition. A third fan commented, I got a lot of satisfaction watching you end games on clean, even numbers. My new favorite contestant ever. I'm confident that you would have set new records if that stupid Benedict blunder hadn't happened. We got you in Tournament of Champions, though, they added. Jeopardy. Viewers were shocked last week when Ben's nine-day run came to an end due to host Mayim Bialik's incredibly harsh ruling. Ben was deemed incorrect on an otherwise on the money final Jeopardy response that came down to just one wrong letter. Ben faced Lynn DiVito, a retired museum educator from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Danny Lesserman, a policy communications manager from Rancho Palos Verdes, California. Ben, who is from Green Bay, Wisconsin, is able to boast of being the first Jeopardy contestant ever to come out of the gates with nine consecutive runaway victories. Having nine insured wins by final Jeopardy is such a rare feat that fans were not expecting him to go anywhere anytime soon. Ben had returned to the game show earlier this month after bowing out of his streak due to contracting COVID-19 in episodes that aired in April, which is why some fans were also confused to see him back. During last Tuesday's shocking episode, Ben got off to another strong start, but a missed true daily double that brought him back to zero dollars. He built back a commanding lead in the double jeopardy round, but then missed the last daily double, so for the first time during his impressive streak he did not have the game put away. Going into final Jeopardy, Ben at $17,400 Lynn, who got the second daily double correct, was right behind at $14,800 and Danny had $2,400. Host Mayim remarked, Lynn is indeed within striking distance, before presenting the suddenly crucial last clue. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Final Jeopardy under Shakespeare's characters read, both of the names of these two lovers in a Shakespeare play come from Latin words for blessed. Danny wrote down Romeo and Juliet, which was deemed incorrect as did Lynn. She wagered $3,000, leaving her with $11,800. Mame finally turned to Ben, who revealed he wrote Beatrice and Benedict Benedict, striking out the first Benedict but then writing it the same the second time. 